right and just make sure everything's working all right. All right. Cool, cool. I have audio. Just my mic a little bit. All right. Hmm. Unstable. Okay, that's just let that chill for a bit. I should probably go poke at Twitch. Not Twitch, Twitter. All right. Hey, Bitman. And yeah, it says my average stream bitrate is too high, which seems weird. Oh, and hey, Greatest Rabbit. <laughs> nice ping. Oh, they're weird ping issues. Let me. Yeah, it says I'm. It's not even showing my... That doesn't sound right. It says my average bit rate is, uh... 30k? Like, 30.7 kilobits per second? That doesn't seem, uh... <laughs> right? But, yeah. Hopefully it clears up, though. Oh. Now, uh, give me a second to make an edit. <laughs> you look like Commander Shepard with his weapons. <laughs> now, yeah. Give me a, a com Okay, let me. Disable low latency mode. That should help. Take a lunchbox. Oh, actually, this is even wackier than the lunchbox at the end of a shotgun. That that lunchbox, the foldout shield. And you're basically just you're you're very invincible with that shield out, basically. Well, towards things that you're facing, but. That's normally the plan. And, hmm. Alright, uh, where am I looking at? Oh, yes. I'm looking at where to expand. Because, um, if you miss the first few streams, basically, this big thing, target, um, yeah, there's a whole South American? Yeah, I think it's South American country. Um, or it's island nation, of course. And, uh, fictional, alright. Bray. <laughs> Sorry, I'm worried about, okay, now. <clears throat> that happened. Um, fictional South American country, uh, island nation. 
there's weather machines and dictators, and your father might have been forced into making, like, a weather machine doomsday weapon. And you're, you're wanting to get to the bottom of this, but also you've been wrangled into uh, helping lead a revolution against a dictator. With your army of chaos, which is honestly just really great, and <laughs> just, just an army of chaos, you know, to fight against uh, a corrupt police state. Like, hell yeah. The island of Vander Vanderfell. Got it. I have never, I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'll assume that you know what you're talking about. So yes. Also, this game is really fun, and it doesn't skip out on, you know, giving you a whole bunch of mobility options. Like, this wingsuit, which just feels like second nature by this point. And also, excuse me, as I uh, help the army of chaos versus... Ah, okay, it's Island Mom. It takes me so long. Oh, you what? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh, sorry. I thought that was an enemy helicopter. Sorry, comrades. at Discordia. Okay, you're not an ally. some uh, revolutionaries. Although, I, let's let's keep going with the tank until it gets blown up. Also, I love how you can just body a fucking sniper shot fairly well, all things considered. Uh, 
Okay, I should uh, stop fucking around. I say, I like, rush back into the war zone. So I didn't uh, just eat shit and die. So that's good. Oh, is how my um, voice going. coming through? Should I uh, lower the game volume? Is what I'm wondering, just because uh, explosions happen a lot in it. <laughs> or. Oh, that's. Uh... Where's. Okay, now I want to do a little wingsuit deal. <laughs> so here's some kind of flying squirrel themed superhero. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Rico's persona could easily be a flying squirrel. That's it! That's, That's the like, shot! Like, I don't think he knows what a fursona is, but if it, if it was explained to him by one of the younger revolutionaries he works with, they would abs like, he would absolutely be gun-ho for a flying squirrel. Like, if someone did, like, a sketch of a flying squirrel with, like, guns, he'd be like, yes, this is me. <laughs> oh yeah, this is absolutely not how wingsuits work, but you know what? They work like that in this game. Just cause, yeah, yeah. Now I'll I'll see myself out with that terrible. Pun. But yes, this game's just tagline it should just be just be just cause. Like wingsuits don't work like that. Well, they do here. Enemy spies have been using explosives on our supply convoys, and we've got their delivery schedule. Take some recruits and blow up those bombs on our terms, Rico. And yeah, this game's all about kind of fun. It's not the most nuanced of games, but like, you know, it's kind of spy, sci-fi, action movie kind of deal. Oh wait. I'm getting in! Get in the car, please. Okay. Please, my thank you, my allies. Can you believe these black guys combated this? Sabotaging our own territory, planting bombs under the ground. Opening fire! The Black Hand are an army for sale. What? They believe in nothing but this. winning cheaply. Taking a shot! Oh, and also, if you're first time seeing this game, I should explain, unlike actually the second game, which had pretty decent driving controls, this game's kind of weird when it comes to how driving the cars works in just the physics, but, I, but it's all in the effort of making it kind of easier, but it's not exactly how you think it should work. And also, I forgot the uh, handbrake button. Please, my trainees. I need you to survive. Please shoot the damn. Please shoot the bombs. You know what? Found you. Goodbye. Every last one of them. I take no pleasure in firing my weapon. But every piece of scum who plants a bomb in the soil of their homeland deserves two bullets and 30 pieces of silver. Hostile hasn't re-engaged. <laughs> I mean, um, yeah, also... <laughs> 
love that you could barely be the weirdest episode of the Magic Gold Plus here. I mean, it gets weirder. It gets much weirder. Um, but yes. And yeah, Ash Ash. Basically, this um, Just Cause 4 is basically kind of like GTA, except Freedom Fighter. That said, I still want to play the uh, remaster of. What's it called? Uh, Red Faction. Red Faction Gorilla. So that one, I feel like, you plays up that to my uh, bit a bit more. Like, they're the reputation meter with, like, you know, civilians, where if you can protect your people and you complete objectives and, like, sabotage, and, like, the corporations, then, like, oh, your reputation increases with, you know, the civilians. But, like, you know, with people and, you know, the, combat but you know if you accidentally get Did people killed or say attack? like die or aren't able to save them then like yeah your reputation tanks because uh you know the, the revolutionaries aren't doing their job the job training is pretty corpse. intense no and i guess another thing that separates like just cause from like gta is that like it's so bombastic. It's very much a sand. It's even more of a sandbox than GTA is. Of just like the wingsuit and your paraglider and the fact that you can switch to and from each one incredibly quickly and easily. And it just lets you do that just because. It's very goofy. So I'm pleasantly surprised we're not getting uh, enemy cars come from incoming traffic. That's always fun when you're trying to outmaneuver people. <laughs> just let's just body a uh, motorcyclist or dude on motorcycle trying to gun us down. I can 
drive, Rico. Up you go. Watch out! You want some of this? Oh. Comrade, where are you going? You've got the wheel now. Opening fire! Die, malparidos! What are you doing here? Oh, that's what you're doing there. Boom! That's how it's done, Jefe. Good work. Recruits, it's graduation day. Enrico, I owe you big for this one. Shoot it, idiota! <laughs> Adios. Check where also where even am I? Oh, I'm all the way down here. Oh, I would gain a squad from this. Alright. Um Malag hmm. Malaga Sl uh, swipe. Alright. Let's go. You're near Puerto Malaga, named after the port from which the Espinosa family left Spain before coming to Solis. Okay. It's also where the Black Hand keeps his commanders for their warships. Ah, bien. Now you're speaking my language. What style is the ground vehicle? We have possible enemy activity. Die, malparidos! Calling off search for home plans. We don't bring it on my road. Come on, let's step in. Do you want some of this? Here then, the people are ready. The target, stand down for now. Taking the shot! <laughs> Opening fire! We're really doing it. Eat some of these! Taking the shot! Sorrento, I'm at Puerto Malaga. First order of business is securing the schematics to the PA-31 warship. Then the army can take the factory. Where are the schematics? What? The plans for the warship are at a council at the north end of the base. Firing! Probably. I'll mark it. Probably. Well, they're not, I will have to go with plan B. Um. Oh, it's one of these. I thought it was something else. Fuck. Okay, I should have probably should have taken full damage from that, but whatever. Oh, 
Oh, I can get the lightning gun? I didn't know I can get this early. You don't get to have a spine if you shoot at my peeps. Them's the rules. I go do the mission and try landing over here to show off what the lightning grenade uh Hopefully I don't die. Smell the ozone. Um, yeah, basically, this game is like Zero, in that, like, you just roll up with your homies, and then three peeps roll up, and one god. How are you alive? I sh- ooh, I shouldn't have lived through that, but I did. Immortal superhero taking three normal kids out to McDonald's drive-in. God. Console's dead. Gotta power it on. Is this still Plan God, A? That's beautiful. See, it is. No, oh, it's below me. Okay. Hola. <laughs> Is your shield really blocking my fucking lightning gun? Fuck you. Fuck you. Really? Back off. Mm, you're seriously... No. Thank you. Thank you. You don't get to... be invincible to my lightning gun. Easy. Your turn. Don't go far. Fire, fire. Yeah. God, I want to shoot a lightning grenade, but I'm very afraid of being struck by lightning. Because that lightning will just can't hit you. I hate the shield dudes. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Whoop. Halfway done. There's a ton of data here. Personal emails, browsing histories. No schematics yet. Oh, yes, uh, the explanation for the sci-fi weaponry is that the 
Um, that. Um, oh, it's it's like science fiction. Or not? Um, I'm thinking. I'm thinking specifically of like spy fiction, kind of like weather machines or whatnot. Like there's one big one that we're kind of spending like the main quest is like kind of about like no, disabling it so that we can get to the dictator. Nothing. No sign of the schematics. Plan B. Plan B. Move, the bad news is you're going to have to move deeper into the base. And the good news? You get to drive one of those warships. They're keeping one of the ships in an underground. Oh yeah, I definitely like game spawn super gadgets. Like how our whole like flying around being super mobile and their grappling hook and all that is like James Bond super gadgets. Um, no, and let's shoot one more lightning grenade and then try not to die. Oh, I was hoping to shoot that further away, but um, again, let's try not to die. Works. Uh. Another one. Uh, let's stick grenade launcher. So, can I? God, I love doing that nonsense. Actually, can I do something real quick? Um, oh, I can unlock a. Ah, this should be a fun one. Float, guided, follow. Um, Where you need to stay on for now. Just cause some explosions. But yes, you can kind of fault in things. It's pretty fun. Um, I love. <laughs> cause some explosions. Now, now you're thinking with just cause. Not, not as catchy as the, the portals, but yeah. Anyways, before I assault that, is there any anti-air that I want to hack? I'm not seeing any. Doesn't mean it's not there, but Okay, my bullets aren't invincible yet. Oh, where's 
Where am I supposed to be going? I got distracted by wanton explosions. Um, by wanton, wanton destruction. That's the term I'm trying to say. <laughs> that sniper wasn't specced for melee, so you just ran up directly at him and kicked him. <laughs> Kick the gun out of his hands. Um, yeah. Um. You know what? I'll, the grenade launcher is still here. If I need it. Adios. Rico will punch the ground so hard that the screensaver deactivated. <laughs> what? Goodbye. I don't want to blow up that ship because I need to pilot said ship. Ah. Good to take. You take three kicks. Okay. You may not take three kicks, but it felt good. Well, I need grapple set up. Okay, then. Alright. If y'all know what's good for you, you'll let me just board my ship in peace. Alright. Warship acquired. Just need to open these doors. Ship out of its cave. Captain Rico, take it out of the canal into the maintenance bay. The cannon on this thing isn't bad. I know. Going to be nice to have one of these at our disposal. From there, we can uh, scan the ship and upload its commands. Pull over. Good job. <laughs> it's driving into the water. Oh god, I remember this mission now. I've done this before. Kind of rough. Well, it can be rough. I don't have. Oh yeah, I don't have the drone. Ooh. Wait. Yeah. Let me back up a little bit. Try to make a trick shot there, but you're getting punished for that. Okay. Let me park this ship. It's kind of beat up, but it should be fine. All right. It's good. And let me call in the supply drop. Wait, actually, I think you already have what I want. Supply drop is on its way, hermano. All right. This should help out. 
Because I forgot that I don't have a... Like, a drone that I can just kind of have ordered, dropped in. Oh. Oh. This is not what I thought it was. Okay. Still good. Still good. Um... Well, I guess I just got... I just had to be good. Okay, I was... It wasn't the weapon I thought I had set up. I thought I had a weapon that kind of could shoot out little, like, drones. Or little attack drones to help you out. That would have been incredibly useful for this, because, uh... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have sort of a bad time being attacked by basically everything. At the maintenance bay. Don't move. Scanning. Coastal attempting to upload warship schematics. Take out that ship. Uh, I'm very slow. Good God. Battleship was uh, slow. It can shoot basically to behind itself, though. All right, so this is going much better, probably because this time uh, I've blown up <laughs> basically everything before coming down here. Alright. Cool. I remember this going a lot worse. What the hell? Easy. Status. Still working. And what are you doing? Okay. Okay, I remember this being worse. Because by the time I did this on the, my last kind of playthrough, there was like a whole, I was basically swarmed by like enemy ships that had like mortars and whatnot. So I was expecting uh hell. Ay, maldita, si. My connection is being jammed from somewhere in the base. I'll take care of them. This is still good. This isn't uh, a rifle that can shoot little uh, drones, but like. <laughs> but, you know, a gun that shoots explosions. Still good. Still good. <sighs> This signal jammer all the way over there. Gotcha. Back in business. You probably want to make sure they don't destroy the boat before we're done getting the schematic.
Damn, I was hoping he could drop his gun. Okay, come on. They're just being stuck. Okay, this one downgrade from the second game was that, like, for most basic enemies, like, one melee attack can kill them. Good work, Izzy. Once we can start making these things for ourselves, oof, I'm excited. Go away. Three D print the Death Star. <laughs> but yeah, now that we've taken this base, we gain squads and also we push forward the front line. And taken over this port. And Right. Where? Okay. Command here. Find that hostile. <laughs> contact with enemy. Okay, I'm usually. Believe it or not, I'm actually usually better at uh. At uh, paraglide than that. No, I did that in the beginning of the stream, so I don't really have to prove that I'm not, uh, awful. And also, apparently, this is a surveillance blimp. Oh, it's having a bad time. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> I need to see. <laughs> did that count as it uh, dying? I don't think it did. Oh, it didn't count. It survived. Okay. Okay, I'm I'm better at this game than this. I'm just. Uh, damn. I'm just getting careless, I guess. Then again, the flying in this, you do actually have to be pretty careful. <laughs> Watch out for its spin attack! <laughs> Alright, let's... Part of the reason why this kind of fucks up the blimp is that the boosters are set to whenever their, like, fuel runs out. They kind of, like, explode a little bit. Oh! Spend attack avoided. Gracias, Rico. Hola. There's another cover of Black Hand operative looking for a ride nearby. Why don't you grab the car they're expecting and pick them up? 
know what? I just realized this whole stream I have yet to shown off the uh, the Black Hand Striker or Sky Striker, or whatever its full title is. But yeah. First, let me do this stunt. Because if I do enough of them... Huh. Huh. Anyway, if I... Do Ooh, enough of them... Did it. I remember how to play this game. Then... For that, oh, and yeah, Benman, I yeah, I love seeing the big ass transportation machinery in games. My old co worker, the one with the theory about the tornadoes, he says he can meet us at the airport once it's secured. All right. Thanks for the heads up on the mission, but um, yeah, what the special wingsuit thing does that gives you a fucking jet propulsion. And also, missiles. And it's a blast? Oh, are we being uh, harassed by some black hand? Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, let's... I'll do some of these driving things off screen just because they're... A lot of them aren't that interesting, sadly. But... Oh, what did I... Oh, and I think one of the DLC that came with this when I got it was uh, the rubber ducky boat. Oh no! <laughs> Sorry that the. Oh, hopefully, it's not gonna be a big deal of stream quality. But oh yeah, I unlocked the giant fucking warship. I guess say some of the driving little stunt challenges do unlock uh, more cars for you to summon. Alright, that's good to know that's fine. But, um... Alright. So we've taken this. Where? I'm trying to remember where things were. Okay, so this. So, alright. Wrong buttons. Alright. I could try to do this in order, because we're trying to take out like three main weather machines that lead up and protect the main one, which is over here, I believe. No. Where is it? Ah. Beacles Nevados. This is the one that you need to complete the three main missions because the dictator dude uh, has his fortress up in the mountains here. Let's see here. Oh, where's the rabbit? Uh, Saints Row 4 ran into the problem that it was a game like this with no reason to ever get in any kind of car. At least this has you stealing stuff for your army. No, yeah. And honestly, some of them are just really good. Like, tanks and warships. They're just pretty tight, but at the same time, you do kind of end up not really getting into cars much, or I don't, because it's like, wingsuit. Um, but... 
send Sagan. Oh yeah, let's do that one first, uh, which would be here. Alright. So let's push towards that way, which go up from here, so... Yeah. Let's go here. Something is up. I'm trying to remember which the zones, which one's what. Oh wait, no, now I remember. I think somewhere around here is the zone one. But oh yeah, I can't really push up this way. No one. No, yeah. Well, I'm here. They're close enough here. Let's push up here. Do I have any towns that I can uh, warp to? Yeah. with the army of chaos. The only downside to using the wingsuit with the, like, jet propulsion and all that is that the little, like, feet tracker deal that pops up every once in a while, it's like you can't gain, uh, feet, you can't, like, get those while, or for the wingsuit while you have it equipped, but, like, not that bad. Okay, that's three kilometers away. Again, I keep forgetting I have jet propulsion. Actually, let me do that real quick. Because if I do just four more wingsuit little deals, then I'll have I'll be able to upgrade my jet propulsion and whatnot by one. That's really fun, Ash Ash. Just a, a, a hand glider and jetpack combo from different mods. Oh, that does sound really nice. But, um, I was. I lost track of my goal. Alright, here. But. Yeah, honestly, you have so much basement uh, maneuverability. And. The fact, what I love most about it too is that. Top secret lab called Zona Tres. It's an installation that studies air currents and wind. Sounds promising. Anything we can use? My informants tell me there's some device there called the Wind Nest. We might get some good data from the central processor controlling that machine. didn't even cause that. What just exploded? What exploded? Some of this.
what just caused that. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, this one's fun. Found a lab built around some sort of circular device. It's pumping a lot of air. That must be the wind nest. Can you get to its central processor? Need to shut down that airflow first. Are there any generators or breakers connected to it? Yep, zone three. I think... No, I think we'll do this one and then try to head back to zone one. Or something. Or maybe zone two, just because I think there's some missions that kind of lead you towards that one first. Or, like... Just flipped a breaker. Bet there's several more. That witness must need a lot of power. Watch it! Yeah. What? Wait, where am I? Okay, no, I'm going the wrong way. God, no, not you. Good. God, I hate this thing. Wait. Please stop that. That's a very rude. Please drop a gun. You made me miss an explosion. You. on the roof. Wow. It's two out of four. Oh. Oh, are you still... 
snipers, please no snipers. Um, are you still connected? Um, yeah, you should be connected. Is it somewhere weird in here? I vaguely remember doing this one. Okay, I cannot bonk. Okay, I should remember how to play this game. I think it's somewhere. Don't mind, um, action hero man. Just doing action hero things. Distracted and didn't get the one that was over here. See, there should be some sort of cable or something. Okay, I thought there was some ammo for me. A nice little treat, but instead there is none. Where is it? Oh, okay. I'm inside of the area. Or it's probably down here. Uh, sounds like it stopped. Easy standing by to help you with the central processor. Head over there. Hostile hasn't re-engaged. Eyes open for further contact. Before you... What? I plug it into oh. the transmitter I've marked. Hurry! See, si, on my way. Black hand systems often use refrigerated drives. Security measure. If the drive gets too warm, it becomes unusable. Get it into that transmitter, and I can take the data safely. Hurt. Okay. Plugged in, is he? Bien, I'm working. All teams, unauthorized access at Research Dome Transmitter. Stop them at all costs. Don't let anything happen to that transmitter. Alright, nothing's happening to the transmitter currently. Alright. Okay. <laughs>
not. I want to blow that up so bad. When you have this much firepower, fuck. Ah, I'm suffering. Okay. Ah, okay. I remember the last time I played this, I had the the drones that you can supply drop in. Yeah, that changes things. Oh no. He's plugged in. Okay. Easy. Ian, I'm working. All teams, oh. unauthorized access at research dome transmitter. Stop them at all costs. Don't let anything happen to that transmitter. I lost my connection. I almost had it. Clever. Rico, the black hand deployed signal jammers. I'll mark their positions. Oh, okay. These missiles. Transmitter going a bit longer. Let's roll. Sound like someone just saying. Shh. No, I. You're not wrong. Yeah. It really do kind of sound like a shoot. Okay, there was a drone flying around, but I think it just blew itself up by flying into something. Got the data. Easy. Yo, Smeo, Rico, there's petabytes of data here. Get that data to Mira. Hopefully we're one step closer to taking Donny up. Uh. All right. All right, push it forward. And wind cannon. Oh. Fear all well. No, it... Yeah, push it forward. Wow, we get a lot of areas basically for free. Because they don't have a uh, headquarters there. Nice. And a rigged car. That sounds fun. Command here. Find that hostile. One. Is there a third one, or is it? Back to your oh. Target is gone. Oh. Okay, I need to try this challenge. I think. Yeah, this is gonna be a weird one. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, no, bust.
Alright, this is gonna be a weird one. And I wonder. No, customize. Yeah, no, some of these, they're legit challenges. Like, they're very much like, hey, do you know what you're doing? Because, like, uh, yeah. And I forgot the. I was. Okay, I think I can do this. Especially with my little cheaty strat. Of. Well, I'm gonna try not to bonk. But yeah, I forgot the grapple button for a second. Because my brain, like, was like, oh, wait, isn't that my secondary weapon button? For some odd reason. God. Ha! Easy! Yeehaw! Totally, totally legit. I am. Totally legitimate stunts. This one's easy peasy. Nailed it. Actually, wonder how many. Ah, okay. I still need two more before I get the second. bit of the second upgrade. So that I have more boost and more charges of missile. Okay, so I can't advance through there. Okay, now what? Let's. Okay, I think to get to zone three is a bit weird. That you. Okay, yeah. No, I think I will come back here because this gives me the attack drone. I don't have enough chaos. Actually, let's Caesar's theory. Uh, where's? Oh, it's all the way over here. And let's see if I can get a flight over there. Okay, I can get a flight over here. <laughs> you 
can never have enough chaos. You're you're very right. Grace Rabbit. But yeah. Rico, Good night. I think it's time we take Solis's international airport away from Oscar Espinosa. You won't like that. I'm in. Marking an old airstrip nearby. Swing by when you're ready. Wow, this one's incredibly easy. Boom! That is a shot, Rico! Nailed it! You know what? Pass through the ring going faster. And... No, yeah, that should be incredibly easy in this game. I didn't mean to assault the other monster truck. Okay, I think because of how weird driving physics is in this game, I may be able to do this much easier. What? Why am I not seeing it? Oh! Okay, that's a different stunt. Pass through the ring and the monster truck. Okay, because I think this one unlocks the monster truck, and I don't know about y'all, but having a monster truck uh, to just drop down wherever I want is good. That counted. There's your shot, that counted. Darling. Somehow, that was ugly. But all right. Thank you.
yet. Alright, back on track. Also, if you're wondering, yes, I can change the direction of my car while in midair. Does that make sense? No. Is it a bit awkward at times? Yes. Is it fun, though? Hell yeah. Okay, now I'm building more. This is Antonio <laughs> coming to you from the vast deserts of Solis. It gets a little lonely out here. Just me. Okay. God. I can't use my grappling hook underwater. I can't save my car. Damn. <sighs> now what? Someday, Vinman, I'd love to get some non get some of the cheeky Nandos. That'd be good. One thing I like about this game uh, is the fact that, you know, they don't really, you don't have to do, like, all of the wingsuit stunts and all that to, like, get the fully upgraded uh, Black Hand Sky Striker. I can't believe I remember the name this time. Like, you only need to do 30. There's way more than 30 in the entire game, but they're like, hey, if you can do this, that means you obviously like wingsuit. And we want to give you a bunch of jet fuel missiles. So, like, have at it. It's like... God, even without the jet propulsion, it is just a fly in this game. And, of course... I fly into a tree, probably going, like, 80 miles per hour. Freeze night. <laughs> Wasted. Yep. Oh, I was about to get some water, but I saw some uh, destruction off in the distance. Okay, this is... Where's the... Ah, oh, there's the enemy encampments. Another possum.
Let me not steer into the guardrails. Ah, I don't have the radio on here. And they apparently lost me. Okay. Okay, this isn't that fast. Uh, wait. Let me see something. Um, you know what? Let's... Hi. Five meters. Let's take this with me. Yes, this game is ridiculous, and basically, you're an action hero. Also, I'm going to take this tank with me, or try to at least. Oh, come on, that should be enough. Oh, the rockets. Um, let me <laughs> next die. <laughs> come on, come on, come here, boy, come here, boy. Follow me. I don't know how fast it'll be able to follow. Probably incredibly slowly, but like it is set to try to follow me. So let's see how well that goes. If I or did it just explode? Okay, I think it just wait. No, the balloons. Okay, probably. Okay, now it exploded. Oh no. Uh, ciao. Yes, this game is very spectacular and bombastic. I, I feel bombastic is uh, a good word for it. So while I'm here, let me do another wingsuit mission. Er, yeah, side quest deal. Because I want to get the second set of launchers on here. Or the second charge.
should be able to do this angle as well. on Project Diapa. If we do find him in La Masmora. If he's alive, I'll find him, Mira. And yes, I also love that too, that apparently... I easily forget about that, that like all those stunts help the kind of... the director lady. So it's like... Mira, somehow that she's airfield. recording. I'm in Me? the hangar. Come Doing on all in. that? Like, okay. What do you think? Will that thing fly? <sighs> Just get it. Um... Want me to run you through oh flight? Yeah, that's. Didn't think so. Let's get in the air. All right. Here's the thing about this game. So, an old in friend, a flight or... controller, has the codes we need to scramble the ATC tower's computers. No control over flights coming or going. And the airport is useless. All planes grounded until we fix it once the airport is secure. This friend of yours reliable? <laughs> We've known each other since yeah, we were kids. Awesome. I trust that her. Flies? I think that's very I'll trust her too. Aeropuerto General oh. Benitez is where you smuggled me in, isn't it? See, I used to fly out of there all the time. Paris, Amsterdam, Tokyo. See? There too. Unidentified aircraft. This is AGB Tower. You are entering restricted airspace. Divert your flight path immediately. I've got this. AGB, this is Black Hand 773. Security call 179er Niner. Request clearance to land at AGB main runway. Copy. Clear for landing at AGB. Nicely done. Told you she could be I trusted. Really She's meeting us at Hangar 6. This game. Just land it's... quietly. Real. Like that jump? That hop? That wasn't me wanting to hop. It's just that was me trying to slow down as much nice. as possible. Oh. Okay. I actually had to get there. Alright, because, oh boy, the physics for flying planes is just I said, like, driving cars feels weird, because they alter the physics in a way that doesn't quite make sense, but it's all to help you out as the, the player. No, but here, yeah, it's just walking. Oh no! <laughs> Ah! 
you Sorry survive that? Okay, you didn't survive that. Now's not the time. We need to get Wait to the <laughs> tower. I'll find us a right. I think uh, that was supposed to be Mielda. No like shit. Which, um, honestly, that's a fair uh, term to use. Off we go. Let's go. So, what's the plan now? One thing at a time, Rico. A plan is a list of things that go wrong, right? I remember saying that right before I got my ass kicked. Hey, so, let me think. Any ideas yet? Maybe. See, if we can restart the ATC systems, I should still be able to slip the malware in. How do we restart the system? Are there flying motor bikes? I got it. Easy. I'm not sure. Buenas. Punch up some code that will cause the jetway consoles to infinitely ping the ATC system for permission to open. That's it. No problem. Rico, you'll have to move fast to get those programs running on every console. Copy. I uploaded the goods to Rico's grappling gizmo. Gracias, Easy. Listo. Head to unoccupied jetways and plug Easy's code into the consoles there. Sargento! Si, senora. I'm marking your target, Rico. Alright. Now, just because I want to see if I can... Get some of Here goes nothing. Yeah, you'll need to get all the consoles for this to work, though. I was surprised by whatever on earth happened to make that like bit of plane explode upward suddenly. Please no sniping. Rico, Black Hander heading to secure the tower. Get back uh. to Mira. God, I wish there was flying motorcycles in this game. How's it going? It's gonna take a few minutes. Just cover me. see something uh, that may help this out because I think I unlocked something that I wanted to a bit ago or no okay I didn't I think no fuck it roger that supplies incoming heavy not what I want I have yet to unlock what I want to unlock. Oh well. Hola. Mira. 
Almost there. That's a wind cannon? Uh, how do I pilot this? I thought I'd be able to pilot this. Get left to escape in this one. Where to? Guya. Sargento, have someone meet me there for evac. They're on their way, marking the point for you. Okay, let's not. Oh, hey. Let's, let's get in this one. Let's get in the not destroyed one. And yeah, this game is very action-y. It's very fun. It's a lot harder to commentate while playing than uh, The Outer Wilds, definitely. But... Ah! Ah! I'm sorry. about the invisible guys just because it's like like and I forgot that they were like yeah but then again there's a lot of spy tech like movie spy nonsense anyway so I shouldn't be too surprised ah. Extraction boy. Alright. Well, thankfully. I was about to say we can get there in peace, but we just exploded a car that rammed into us. Is this Rocket Lake? I mean, cars in midair basically have that much, they're not as much control as the Rocket League cars, but yeah, no, you can do some wonky stuff. Here they come. Like, the physics for cars is weird. Like, 
Like, I'm not... I wasn't joking when I was saying that earlier. It's pretty great. I that didn't go according to plan, did it? It never does, but we made it work. Gracias, Rico. Hablamos. Okay, ma'am. Why? Why are you? Why are you just squatting? Not though. Because of that. We have now... The Army of Chaos has now taken control of the airport. And... I think I want to... I, normally I'd be ending soon, so I think... I... Uh, I want to... And doing something fun. Hmm. Melee boop car ego boom. <laughs> um, not. Let's do this one real quick. Not the most exciting one, but it's. Well, actually, what is the? Well, there's this one. Into the. You know what? Let's meet this dude. Actually. Wait, how far is that? I need a. I keep forgetting that I turned off low latency mode. But yeah. It was an honor to fly you, Hefe. And the textures, the 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 sh the, <laughs> the the shadows from the clouds are slowly rendering across the ground, as they should be. Hey, Rico. Listen, Cesar, he, eh, he doesn't spend much time around people. Not anymore. Hmm. This is a secret agent? See, si, this is Rico. Vila says you have something to show me. Proof? Proof that none of the weather occurring in Solis is natural. <laughs> yeah, come on in the back, I've got a... Who put that there? Uh, just one minute and I'll have this... Why are we looking for that? Okay, uh, God, the cutscenes yeah, in this game see. are rough. Remember, Cesar, stick to what we talked about. See, see, okay, okay. Okay. 
The tornado that hit Nueva was the capital 10 years ago. Mina Vendaval a few months later. My plane. All destroyed by tornadoes. Tornadoes controlled by the reptilians. Mierda, Cesar. Or the Nordics, but I've definitely ruled out the Greys. <laughs> no abductions. Mira. Cesar. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Watch this. How'd you explain that, huh? Appears out of nowhere, and moments later, a tornado forms around it. Look familiar? Play that again. You've seen it too, haven't you? Go on. I've seen it here and here. This is near Yapa, and this is on a trace. An alien weather. A weather research facility. Both Yapa and Zona Tres are funded by... Oscar Espinosa. The man behind it all. If he even is a man. Let's assume he is a man, Do hmm? you think this UFO is a core we could use to hack into the Yapa network? If we can get to it, see. Si. <laughs> Impossible. It's inside a tornado. What if I dive down? Dive down. Into the eye of a tornado. So, how do we make it happen? I say, we start with this. Let's go over it one more time. Bien? Okay. We need to trap and grow a tornado. To do that, we need the wing cannons from the alien weather lab to steer it to the capital. To know where to place the wind cannons, I will use the radar equipment at Ojo de la Pradera. I will need to follow and track the tornado. I'll drive the storm chaser. To build the storm chaser? See, si, see, si. uh, we need to bring some of the alien weather tracking equipment from the alien weather lab. Si, sir. From Zona Trace to Prisa Automobile. And when the time is right, the army disables the wind cannons protecting Mina Vendaval. That will allow the tornado to go towards Nueva Boss. Which the army will evacuate. We build a perimeter of wind cannons around Torre Espinosa. And we grow the tornado there until it's big enough. Then I jump in on Cesar's UFO and do something. <sighs> what do we think? <laughs> he's fucking nuts. <laughs> and that's why he's gonna work. So, yeah, I'm gonna wave if any narration that happens afterwards. But yeah, it's rather unfortunate that they bring up the whole reptilian thing just because of that connotations with, uh, like, uh, not to propaganda and whatnot, but yeah, it's kind of explained later that, like, back in the 70s, that character, uh, I forgot his name, Caesar, Cesar, uh, like he was flying his plane, like he was like a suspected like scientist dude who's flying his plane, and then one day he got downed by a tornado, and he saw like what uh, Pittman called uh, when we first saw it in the cutscene uh, a car. So basically saw that, had no idea for you know any context for it, and then has been obsessed with aliens for years because you know weird alien, like, weird weather technology or something like that. But yeah, this one, pretty fun, uh, part of the main quest of just, oh no, we're being attacked by, uh, fucking jets, which, mm. 
But yeah, this... I remember doing that one. And yeah, it's pretty fun to just... Come on. Come on. Come on. If you're wondering... Okay. Congrats. Enemy jet. Alright, it's done. But, yeah. Uh... Yeah, I think next time we're gonna start progressing towards this part of the quest. Or... quest. Of the, uh, main quest line. And get us a fucking tornado. Yeah, thanks for watching. The target. Stand down for now. Come on. Good night. Hell yeah. If you're wondering, the SMG's uh, sub weapon is called, like, Charge Shot. Something wacky like that. So, yeah, basically, we're just shooting charge shots. Huh. So I don't, interesting, that's a weird way to travel. But, yeah. Um, God, ending a stream is always the worst. But thanks for watching, y'all. Normal stream around Thursdays, 8 p.m. to around 10. Uh. I <laughs> getting distracted just because of random fighting happening around me. But, yeah, I'll get it, trying to stream more days when I have the time. Yeah, thanks for watching this weird, bombastic game where, as uh, one person put it, you're a flying squirrel-based superhero. But yeah, later y'all.